Hey guys, it's Kyra again today. Kyra the uh, dragon dog. And today I am going to talk about what you should do in the fursuit and what not. So let's get right into the video. In the fursuit, always have water with you. It's getting hot. So always have some water with you. And always take a break per hour. I take a break per 15 minutes, so that. Also, if you're, uh, if you're, if you have a cold or something, you can first shoot. But make sure you don't have your no stuff. I don't know what you call it in English. In your fursuit. Because that's just disgusting, okay? Don't do that. I'm going to talk in this video. I, was, I forgot to say that. I'm going to talk about how your fursuit works. Yay. Yeah, make sure that everything sits okay so it doesn't fall off, right, when you start. Make sure someone is there with you. If you are in another place, make sure that someone is there with water. Your normal clothes, if you're in a full suit. Um, some um sewing stuff so if someone something uh uh is falls off or something they can make it and always make sure that they have <laughs> i don't know what i was gonna talk about i'm sorry you know what, I'm just gonna keep this in a video. <laughs> but yeah, always make sure that they have sewing stuff. And if you have some backup tails, which I do have, I have three tails, always make sure that you have one with you. So if your tail, you can't use your tail anymore, you just, oh, I'm gonna grab another one so you can go on. You can't, I don't think it's a good idea to have an extra head, but always make sure that you have extra tails and so I am going to talk about how your fursuit works, because if you don't know how you can put in your fursuit, you just can't fursuit. <laughs> wow. No one knew that. So like, I almost stop. forgot to say that, but use your body. I already told that, but are you going to sit like this? No one knows you're talking to them. And it just looks weird. Look. But if I use my body, it looks so much better. You see, I am talking to you. And you know that I am happy or sad or mad. So always use your body. Now I am gonna talk about how you use your fursuit. I put this crown on, so it wasn't in the fursuit already. But if you look inside, you can see inside. So let's just take a look. These eyes, they look just like normal eyes, which you can't see through here. If you look really closely, you can see that you can look through it. It's like panty, panties, uh, that stuff. So from the inside, you can still see it. Also, this is all fur, fur, and my nose doesn't fit in here, so I it doesn't bother me that much. If you don't like it when your nose is 
being flat out like this, make sure that it fits in there. So we are gonna, I'm gonna let you see how you should put your fursuit on. So make sure that everything sits okay. And um, you have this hair. You put it over your head. And I have a ponytail in. Put it here. Because otherwise you could see my hair. So I put this thing under my ponytail. If you're a guy, you just need to see where you put it. And also the flower crown. So. Oh god. Over your ponytail. Shoot. Gluing, gluing, gluing. Gluing, gluing, gluing. Also, you can't glue your fur suit. Just keep that in mind. You need to sew your fur suit. Um because it uh, glue, if it's like that hot glue, there's one problem, because it will melt all the hairs, the hair, that hair, it's made from plastic, so it will, um, melt the plastic, um, uh, hairs, so you have one clump, and that's all, so... Yeah, I'm gluing this. Almost there. Uh, yeah. Lesson learned. Always be careful with what you have. Because I was careful, but not careful enough. So, yeah. I am now gluing this on. Oh god. So now I'm holding it against each other. And yeah. just wait. Now it's just loose, but that's okay. I left it to dry right there. Let's just go on with the video. So, I put it behind my ponytail. So now it's, it sits okay. So now, I don't know how moving drawers work, but I don't have one. So this is all I can do. I'm gonna teach you how to do the tail. Because some people seem to struggle. So you need a rope. And make sure you have something under your t-shirt. So now you search the bag that needs to sit on the front. That's how I call it. And you get the two ends. Wait. And you make a knot. Just like this. And you need to make sure it's not that long. And just put it around the head. And now you have your tail on. So let me put my head on. I don't use my tail in these videos because you know why would i you can't see it but yeah that's how you put a tail on and you have this needs to go through this so yeah that's how you put your tail and your head on yeah um i'm scared that it's forever uh gone i can't use it anymore i Hope that I can save it with other uh, 
stuff. But I don't think so. With other glue, maybe. But I don't think so. So that one is probably gone. So I need to buy a new one. Don't know where to buy it. That. But yeah, we were talking about how first it works. So now that you've done it, I don't know how a uh, moving jaw works. I mean, it moves, but not when I talk. I do it with my hands. Maybe if I do it like this, but that doesn't work with me. So I know how moving jars work. But yeah, that. No, so I hope you like this video. I hope that my um, flower crown can be saved. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I have a problem, and I need to buy a new one, and I don't know where. So. Thanks for watching, hope you liked this video, bye!